Right, it's a really nice day here today, um, but it's still really cold. So I think we should go and cut a bit of wood, pick up some of the uh, old limbs that have fallen out of the trees to make it a lot easier for the cattle to get around and uh, cut them up for firewood instead of just leaving them there going to rot. Okay, let's get into it. This is full of dead trees. We're not cutting those down, but we're going to uh, just clean up around them and uh, give the grass a bit of uh, bit of light and a bit of bit of air for the grass to be able to shoot and grow. Okay, so it's uh, quite a cold morning, especially standing out here. So uh, I think I should get active and get stuck into it and warm myself up. Let's go. to do for a few days so now what we'll do is take it over drop it off and we'll come back we'll push all these sticks up into a heap and set fire to them get them out of the way and it's done well there you go we're getting a whole lot of nice water in there uh, another foot and a half and it'll be filled up so it's done just really good it's filled up quicker than what I thought so uh, all in all, the dam reconstruction has been a success. Well here we go, we've got our pea seed here, picked it up this morning. And uh, we'll put some of these in on Monday, probably half of them and uh, the other half in at the start of August. So we've got them ready for Christmas, uh, for people for their Christmas dinner. Um, peas, you would not think that they could turn out the way that they do so delicious. Look at that, hard brown dry looking things but these are green feast peas the other um, main sort of pea that is grown here in Tassie are onward peas um, particularly for eating um, but I always like the green feast ones they're nice and sweet they grow reasonably quickly um, a large pod but a beautiful tasty pea uh, when they're boiled fresh and what you've got to remember with peas is that you really need to um, either snap freeze them or um, cook them within a couple of hours of picking them because otherwise the uh, sugar content in the pea deteriorates pretty rapidly after that and they're nowhere near as sweet. Okay, we've got the kink out of the hose and luckily enough we haven't put a hole in it and this mud is really giving me the uh, I suppose you could say. We'll just duck over here. Have a look to see if this cow has had a calf or not. Actually, when I came over here not that long ago, uh, she had the water bag out. So I am hoping that she's had the calf by now. It's the last thing I want to be doing. Just trying to pull a calf out in the dark. So let's go over here and have a bit of a look. Okay, well she's had the calf and uh, would have only been born maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago and she started to clean him up already. The good thing is that around this area it's very well protected by trees. So, uh, you know, the calf won't be hit by any winds or anything tonight. Uh, she'll clean him up. She's a very protective mother. Uh, one thing I didn't want to do was go and try to assist him up and he looks very healthy from here um, I didn't want to assist him up or, or um, we didn't want to really pull him because she is a, a very uh, snaky 
old mum and uh, it looks like a nice healthy calf laying there so hopefully by tomorrow morning he'll be up and about righto so that's pretty good we've had the calf before it's got really dark it's quite dark at the moment it's just this camera is really good in low light so um, it probably adjusts the, the light or something you wouldn't you can't really tell how dark it is uh, getting at the moment I reckon as I said I reckon we've got 10 or 15 minutes of daylight left or of seeable daylight then it'll be dark but uh, well that that is really good news I've been a little bit worried about her because she uh, started to feel pains I think sort of probably about 10 o'clock this morning and um, I've been checking on her all day and then probably half an hour ago I went over and, and the fluid water bag was out so I thought well that looks all right uh, his hooves were facing down so that was good too because at least then I knew he was coming out the right way uh, so it didn't leave a lot to go wrong and as I said she's had quite a few calves um, before and had no trouble so um, yeah everything's turned out brilliant there now we've got the trough filled up I'll go around and turn the pump off and I think that's going to do me for the day